data science has actually been around as long as traditional science, quote unquote, and it's about making inferences from data. And you can go back to the astronomers of Kepler, and they have all of these observations by watching the planets rotate around. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to infer some underlying law of, of science from that, but it's all data driven. And in the past, that data, that data has not necessarily been that big. You know, there's only so many planets and observations, etc. And they could do this without large scale computing. But the explosion of data over the last decade overwhelms us in every way, shape, or form. And because of the size and the types and complexity of the data, we really need to throw big computing at it. And we need to put, we need to figure out new algorithms, new ways to understand that data. The way I view data science as opposed to more of a classical science, a classical science is more, you would gather data specific to the sort of question you want to ask. Data science is more, you start with a large amount of data and then you can ask questions based on that data. It's a new view of doing science where the data is coming first. It's not the hypothesis first, it's the data first. Some people think it might be statistics, some people think it really is just computer science, and there are definitely people that think really it should be an interdisciplinary education and research endeavor where you're bringing together people from computer science and mathematics and statistics and different application areas and then teaching them these sets of skills that we're now calling data science. When the field of psychology started, people didn't understand what that was, right? When the field of chemistry started, people didn't know where the right place for this was, what actually was chemistry. It's the same thing with data science right now. It's a whole new discipline that's also going to have a place where it sits in between many different areas. So it's important to figure out what is the best way to do it, how to serve most people with it, how to teach it the most efficiently and effective way. Train as many people as possible to fill the needs for these data scientists out there in engineering and industry.